Well done, mate. You've just taken the braking space. You absolute winner. Good job. I'm alive. Hello, good morning, and welcome back to another video. I am Jay, this is my DAF. I'm parked up in a lay-by. Um, I'm not feeling too great, to be honest. I've not been feeling too great for the last couple of days. But, you've still got to go to work, haven't you? And I'm just having a cup of coffee. Um, where's my sweet? Oh, I bought some new sweetener. I think I ran out the other day. Where, where would I put that? I, I suspect I would have put it up here. Maybe? No? What? Oh. Have I, uh, I think I've, uh, what I might have done is I bought it, <laughs> I left it in the plastic bag, and then I used the plastic bag for a bin. So... Yeah, that didn't go down too well, did it? <laughs> that didn't work too well. No, no, no more. No, oh, we've got two sachets from McDonald's. That'll do. It's my morning coffee. That will do. Uh, so today I'm in, I'm in West Brom-ish area. Um, going over to. Philston. I've got a lot of roof tiles on. They're coming off. I, I believe it's a building and not a building site. I did a couple of building sites yesterday. Nothing really to. It's a bit boring, really. There's nothing to record, so I've binned it. So I thought I'd start again today and see if can make today's any better. I've got my little candle there, my little vanilla one, making it smell nice in here. I won't be driving with it on. I'm sure some some of you will say, don't drive with that on, you don't need to. I got it. So today's plan is we're gonna go and do this one, um, which is only about 25 minutes away. You can't get there till half seven, so there's no point in going yet just yet. Um, go back to the yard, pick up a trailer that's, I think it's a flatbed. Uh, it's got a load of uh, concrete, barriers on there. Do you know like you get side of the motorways and stuff, the big, the big chunky ones. Uh, they're going to Birmingham Airport, so I'm guessing it's like security barriers. So they're going to Birmingham Airport. I won't, I won't be airside, it'll be like, because you'll need a, you need a D, a D4 is it for airside, which I couldn't be bothered getting um, last time I was offered to work at the airport. Nah, I'm not jumping through hoops. So I didn't, um, so it won't be airside. Uh, but apparently, here's the twist to it. Yesterday, I think I'm taking someone's failed load from yesterday because uh, apparently they kept the driver there all day and um, then couldn't find anybody to drive this forklift, whatever, because the only one they had was too light. Too, it wasn't, it couldn't take the weight, basically. Uh, so that was failed, and I think I'm going back re-delivering that, but, Apparently, uh, they won't let you eat in your cab. Uh, no smoking, which is standard for no smoking in the cab. Uh, they won't let you eat in your own in your own cab. Where, where's that health and safety? I don't understand that. If I want to eat in my cab, I'll be eating. I, if they tell me not to eat, I'll be closing the curtains and saying, "Sorry, no, uh, busy." It's a bit rude, that, isn't it? Don't you think? Don't eat in your cab, but they've got to sit there all day. Yeah. Okay. Well, hold on. Stupid people, stupid people. Health and safety, where do you get this stuff from? Oh, what's going on with this camera? Oh, it's on. No media. So, I've got the head cam here. Should I uh, charge it up and whack it on my head later? I think I'll do. 
well, it's time to go. I'm going to get there slightly early. It's all right, though. Just level the cab. Because it's a slight hill lift. Bit of a heavy load. It's full of roof tiles. So yesterday, I had a bit of an issue. I had a uh, dashboard lit up like a Christmas tree. It said, add blue fault. Um, exhaust system fault. Reduce power mode as well, oh, great. Weirdly enough, the reduced power mode didn't affect it that much. I don't know if it's because it's a, a manual or what, but um, anyway, it didn't. So, uh, anyway, got it back to the garage. They diagnosed it and reset it first to see if that cleared it, didn't clear it. Anyway, they had to go buy a new AdBlue pump system thing and uh, I, that was an eye watering £2,800. <laughs> There's always something with a daft lane departure warning. I, I don't need lane departure warning to be honest. I'm guessing the sensor's dirty. It, it does make me chuckle when you're in it's, the sound centre, city centre, whatever, wherever it is, and you get, uh, you get a car peeking trying to get around you. Which is fine, if you can get around me, get around me, but just, just, when you see just one headlight, in, 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 I don't know about other truckers, but for me, I'm like, it looks like he's begging, please let me pass, please. It, do, it does make me laugh a little bit. Here's, here's your chance, here's your chance. I mean, it's not, it's still a single track road, but no, no, you, you stay there. Cool. I'm plodding at 25, it's a 30, but I mean, what I'm going to do is like run up to the traffic. <laughs> Fixed camera. So, Oldbury, I'm near Oldbury. Now, I know some of you are going to say that's not Birmingham, but it's like if someone says to me, I, I went to Manchester the other week, I'm like, oh, right, okay, and there was in Ashton. I'd be like, it's not Ashton, not Manchester, but yeah, you know, it's, it's, I understand why they say it's the kind of, kind of the area. Oh, here's that car coming across the Chevrons. Are you going to jump in front of me now? All oh, right, okay, cool. Everyone. <laughs> I've somehow managed to switch the air, the air conditioning on that on the passenger seat. I can hear it whirring away. It's annoying me. It's, it's quite loud actually. I didn't realise how loud the passenger one was. Maybe the driver's side's worn out. You don't hear it as much. I was quite surprised that the passenger seat's heated and got aircon as well. Didn't expect that. What it has? Anyway, a few minutes away. Traffic's been alright so far. Um, now I had a Google on this where I'm going last night, and it's uh, it sh shows residents on one side and then this building on the other side. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to park up there. There is gates to drive in there, and it is almost opening time. Well, I was just told 7.30, it might be open earlier than that, I don't know, but they might have their own trucks to load, so sometimes it's just, you got to sit and wait. But, uh, I'm, <laughs> oh yeah, I just remember something as well, from what I was told yesterday about this Birmingham, this Air, Birmingham Airport one later. Um, Apparently, you're not allowed to eat in your cab, which I've already said to you, um, but if you want to eat, you must eat in the canteen. Now, if you go into the canteen, you must do a 40 minute, you see an ambulance, a 40 minute uh, induction. This is coming through. <laughs> Car flying up. You obviously saw the lights as well, but I was beeping the odds to make sure. Red light camera. A bit warm in here now. Uh, I've had some paracetamol this morning. Still feeling a bit meh. That's just a, a real word, that meh. 
Well done, mate. You've just taken the braking space. You absolute winner. Good job. Too much. No indicators. Typical Audi driver. I know it's a Tesla, but Teslas are the new Teslas are the new tossers, so basically they're the new Audi drivers. Right, so let's uh, get in there. Sat there before, I didn't even notice you stood there. It's a bit wonky, this road, isn't it? seemed a bit grumpy at this one. Well, maybe it's because I was there before the opening time and I said, can I come in now? I mean, I could have moved, come in and stopped down there. And then again, I could be taking up parking spaces for the staff, so I'll stop moaning. <laughs> Maybe stick it down there to get out. Who knows? We'll be in turning around down here, so we've got, got to be unloading it here. I've no idea where, so I'm just going to stop here. I'm just going to open the curtains and uh, de strap the load. Right, it's the lad that unloaded me. It was quite quick in it, no issues there, no moaning either, which is unusual from for the driver. No, I'm only joking, they're not all like that, is it? It's not sure how he's come from that direction with the weight limit. Cheers mate. Me that because there's one going in as I was coming out. Right, just stopped at what service is this? Milton? What's a park? I thought I'm just gonna grab a coffee. See if I can find a park in this space. It's not the biggest. Uh, space there. And I think there's space there. We'll go for the driving space because uh, well, it's easy, isn't it? Famous last words. See, I narrow these bays up. He's got a shiny uh, exhaust box on that, uh, Axros. He's, looks like he's only just started him. Awful wheel trims. Started on his tank, though. What's beeping now? That's one of my... Uh, GoPro have decided to turn themselves on for no reason whatsoever. Yes, this one recording for no reason. So 
so last week they graded the car park and my car was uh, was there when they was grading it. it you should see the dust it was covered in it was a lot trailer B. I'm guessing it's a flatbed. Can't see it being not a flatbed. After one mile, take the exit B5060 towards Barton. Surface to the moon! I think this bit needs grading next. I see concrete. I could have just put it in there, really. Is this a gap at the end? I'll put it on the other side, not an issue. tomorrow or today. Ah, so these are the concrete blocks I'm gonna to have to strap down. How many straps are we gonna need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve straps. Oh joy. I might take the one because uh, one of them's got a, one. One of the trailers is a Moffat trailer, and one of them isn't a Moffat trailer. I'll take the one that isn't a Moffat trailer, I think, just in case anyone else needs to whack a Moffat on a flatbed. It's a sea of red. <laughs> I also see red trailers everywhere. Heads up. Some people complain this makes them nauseous. Um, I don't know why it doesn't make me nauseous, but I mean, some people think the head cam does. It is what it is. So, I washed the truck yesterday, I wonder how long it's going to stay clean. Probably not long. Audio is not the best on this camera. Well, this one's the wrong way around. Tangled little trailer there with a Moffat on it. So, this is a Moffat trailer. I'll take this one, because this one isn't a Moffat trailer. That is a Moffat, that thing there, if you didn't know what a Moffat is. So we're gonna need corner protectors as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I have a dirty glove here for pulling the pin because. It's uh, full of fifth wheel grease. Yeah.
Right, that is us disconnected from the trailer. We're just going to drive forward a little bit, lower it with this box here. Just listen to the pin pull. That's it. Lower it. Should be enough. Yep. Let's get under number 72. Yeah, so the reason I'm not taking the other one is because just in case someone needs a trailer with a Moffitt, uh, then they've got one. Sure, this could be quite low because it's probably got weight on the front end, so uh, I'll just have a look at the height. Some parts a bit wonky. Yeah, I'd have to lower it right down. All the way down. I'm going to drop the... Uh, Mid lift as well. Just so I don't uh, smash my wheel arches on it. There we go, lift up. It's not as heavy as I thought it was actually. That was uh, a bit quicker than I wanted that. So my air's dropped now because I'm using it, I'm trying to lift it up. I'm going to give it a tug test. We'll build some air up first. Now this usually ignores you until that, until these two bars go off. Oh, it's above 75 PSI. So I'll just give it a little rev to uh, speed that up a bit. I don't do that when it's cold though. I'll just let it build on its own. All right, there we go. Now lift. Just to get the, uh, just to get the uh, landing legs off the floor. Right, now I'll give it a test. So what you're doing there is you're just testing to make sure you are connected. There's a trailer brake on this one. I think it's on this side. Why, I don't, why is it on the other side? Why is it on the other side? Have I missed it? Where's it gone? Am I missing something? Is this not a brake button? off. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
15 foot. Is it this way then? I think it could be this way. car parks because uh, <laughs> there's usually a, a fine if, if there is, if it's, that's the case. No, I see the, uh, the monorail thing over there. You said keeping your right in lane so I've gone the wrong way completely. <laughs> I think I've gone wrong. It's car parks, car parks, yep. Well, there's the monorail thing. It must gotta be around here somewhere then. I can see a truck over there. Ah, oh, he said it splits to the right, keep to the right one, he said. I'd be there on the left, so I'm in the right place. After 90 yards, there right, Ambassador Road. Then, at the end of the road, turn right. There, right, there, at the end of the road, turn right. Yeah, I see the guy there. Looks like he's waiting for the, uh, <laughs> for the flight. Hey. Yeah. And then you just pull straight into that corner. Gonna... Nose into the corner, yeah? Yes, mate, yeah. Roger. Let's get some boots on. Turn right, Herald Road, then keep and left. a hard hat, because we'll probably need that on the site.
sit to the blind side to get out. I see the curb. We watch the gate. Cheers mate, thank you. Have a good one. Turn right. Had to do that. <laughs> Trailer to collect. I don't know where it is. Number five. Um, which is going to go next door, load a load of uh, roof tiles on. I'm guessing it's a flatbed I'm picking up. Uh, that's got two deliveries for Stafford, Stoke ish, and there it is, number five. And then reload a lot of rebar tomorrow. This is an extendable trailer, this one. Don't know if it needs extended or not for the reload, but I guess it's probably not. No, it's a no. I'm gonna get across there though. That way I'm just off the bend. over to the curb a tiny bit more. I don't care if trailer wheel touches the curb, but I don't, I don't want my units to touch the curb because I've just cleaned them wheels. Oh. 
brakes are out. Right, well that's me done then. Put it on brake. Sixteen forty-five, and I can't work past it. <sighs> oh well. Let's get this road down now, and then I'll fill the rest in later. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Dink.